Okay, what I want to talk to you about today is um, basically writing riffs for, say, a blues tune, or to make pretty much any riff you got bluesy. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to show you this real quick, but let me explain. Again, we're, we're in drop D tuning here with this uh, bottom string. Um, so you still got that low end crunch, but it is possible to be playing blues on a drop D tuning guitar. Um, what would be normally a normal tuning would be a G would be here. But because this is tuned down a half or down a whole step to a D instead of an E, your chord for a G is now here. Okay. So what we're going to do is I'm going to play this riff and then I'll break it down for you and show it to you. And then I'll show you how it's put into um, basically into uh, a blues kind of a scale, a blues uh, progression rather. So um, here it is. Now I'm going to break it down because we're going to be using that same kind of riff um, moved up at a different, two different positions up the neck. Uh, but first what I'm doing is I'm basically playing two of these G's and I'm muting them. So it's, and then I'm coming down here and I'm grabbing the uh, D and the G string. Right there. So I'm playing a C, but essentially a C. And an A sharp. So we've got G, C, and A sharp. And you'll notice my right hand here when I do that. Let me see if I can get the position a little bit. Kind of a little hiccup. I hit it down stroke, then up mute, and then I change my chord to that A sharp. Okay, so practice that. That's pretty pretty important too. If you want to learn this riff, anyways, you can pretty much do whatever you like. But um, again, two G's, and we do a hammer on pull off with the A sharp and the C chordings. And we're not doing a full C. We're just doing the last two notes of the C chord, which are actually a G and a C. And then down here, we're doing the um, the uh, F and the A sharp. So when we do this, we're going. So I'm going to do it really slow now. And I grab this single note here, a uh, pinch squeal harmonic or just a bend. You see vibrato. I kind of like the pinch squeal myself, but that just adds a little in there. So instead of just having. Um, we can do this. And that was just uh, basically a descending uh, chromatic thing I was doing there. Eddie Van Halen thing. 
And then uh, basically what you do is you play that for your uh, for your uh, allotted amount of measures for your blues and you move the exact same thing um, to the second position which would actually be a C so here's your C note but we're going to find this C note up top um, way up here on your uh, 10th fret and then of course um, instead of playing it down the bottom it wouldn't make much sense but let me show you what I'm what I'm doing here. Then we're going to take it all the way up to the A sharp. Go have fun with it.